What's up, K-Squad? Hope everybody is well out there. If you're new, I'm Kara from K's Ways, where I like to inspire you to do it your way. Let's go ahead and get right into it, y'all. I have been hoarding fragrances. I think y'all can see behind me, like, those are all new fragrances. <laughs> like, it's crazy. And then, I have some fragrance oils that I haven't talked to you guys about. I don't know if y'all remember. I know, I've been gone for a while. I did tell you guys I was waiting until Black Friday to hit up some fragrance deals because I didn't shop any fragrances during the... Sephora sale. So, as you can see, <laughs> I stuck true to my promise. I will talk about some designer fragrances that I picked up. I got really good deals. Macy's was, they stayed with sales, you know, over the holidays. Y'all know every week Macy's has that one day sale. Well, let me tell y'all, they've been hitting with their sales on the fragrances. And, and, and then I also indulged in some of the Arabic scents that have been going viral, you know. TikTok made me buy it, that kind of situation. So if y'all want to know all about the fragrances and the smell goods that have been keeping me on point for like the last couple of months, definitely go ahead and continue watching. Don't wanna take it slow. Just wanna let you know. Ready to spend some time. I wanna spend some time. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So we're gonna start off with the fragrance oils that I've been trying. I'm to begin with this one from Caudalie. When I had hauled this during the Sephora sale, someone had commented and asked me to come back and let you guys know what I think about this. Now, this Caudalie, this is the Smooth and Glow Oil Elixir for body, hair, and your decolletage. Precious oils and prickly pear. Prickly pear? Why well, I always thought this was fake? Because I sure have been mixing this with, um, this, the brown sugar, the brown sugar and fig from Bath and Body Works. Why? I was under the impression that this is fig. I really says precious oils and prickly pear. Anyhow, <laughs> besides that, I can tell y'all, this oil is really nice. To me, it smells like figgy. Like, it smells like a plum almost kind of situation. So, to me, this is a nice lightweight oil blends into the skin really nice and smooth like it doesn't leave like a super greasy feel on your skin and to me it just smells like a really fresh ripe fruit and to me i thought it was fake i don't know why <laughs> but i mean it's clearly telling me pear but to me it just smells like a really fresh ripe juicy like a plum to me i don't get pear i get like that purpley plum vibe and i think that's why i've been mixing it with the fig like go figure <laughs> But I do like the oil and you can see since I purchased it, what, in November, December, I've definitely been using it and enjoying it. So, yeah, I wanted to know my thoughts and I think it was a good deal. I'm not sure if the little set that they had it off over the holidays is still available, but they definitely do sell a bigger bottle by itself. And I think this is really nice, again, lightweight, like my hands don't feel like super oily or anything like that. So. This is really nice if you like that fresh and fruity kind of vibe. Not so much fresh as in like soapy kind of scent, but just like nice and ripe and sweet. So that's what I get from this oil. But the Neiman Matte oils, these are like what, 20 bucks a piece for this little oil. But I will tell you, a little bit of the oil does go a long way. You can see I've definitely used this one way more than I've used this one. I actually am wearing the amber today. These are oils from a company called Neiman. Matte. They actually sell them at Ulta. So I picked these up again towards the end of the year so I have vanilla musk oh, this right here and I heard also that they actually have a perfume in this scent I kind of need that it's like 60 bucks I need that scent and it's like a big bottle for 60 bucks too but this vanilla musk everything so you can definitely tell from the usage that I've really really been enjoying it when I smelled it on camera too y'all saw my reaction like this is just everything and of course I'm getting that fruitiness from my hands but I still have that potent vanilla coming through with this oh smells so good and they also have amber which I noticed I don't have a lot of air amber fragrances but today I do have this on and I have it layered with amber Nemat scent with the cloud nine from Bath and Body Works along with Marc Jacobs perfect so that was my combination today I didn't get any compliments or anything like that but I knew it was gonna be a day we was at work we've been doing a lot of moving we moved from one floor to another so it's just been that kind of day so i just didn't want anything like too sweet overpowering or anything like that i know it's going to be a lot of people around so i just wanted something that's nice and pretty much i would say crowd pleasing in a way like that's not doing the most basically so that's what i was going for today i wasn't trying to do the most the neiman oils these are like what 20 bucks a piece for this little oil but i will tell you a little bit of the oil does go a long way and i usually mix 
these oils in with my moisturizer. I'll mix these oils in with a couple of pumps of my Jergens and use it to go around my body before I actually go in with like a spray or like my Bath and Body Works stuff. So that's how I usually lay in my scents. But yeah, the Nima oils, I definitely recommend. These are nice. And like I said, a little goes a long way. Even though I've been using the mess out of this, I still feel like I got a good amount left. So even though the bottle, don't be fooled because I can see. Like, don't get fooled by this bottle because it's kind of thick at the bottom. So the oil kind of stops up here. But still, to me, I feel like that's a good amount of product that I have left. So I ain't mad at these. I really enjoy these. And like I said, I would definitely like to get the uh, perfume, the fragrance of the vanilla musk. And also, um, I can't remember the one. I think it's Egyptian musk or something to that effect. When I purchased these, she told me that they had another scent, but they didn't have it in stock at that time that I was purchasing it. And I just never went back to get the third one. But let me know if you guys have tried it. It's an alcohol-free fragrance oil, certified cruelty-free and vegan. And it's also paraben and xylate-free. So for all of you guys that like can't deal with like the harsh chemicals and the alcohols and things like that with like regular perfumes, definitely check out the Neem yes. right? The Harim El Sultan, I may be saying it wrong, I'm not sure. But I know y'all seen this bottle all up and down y'all timelines, whether you were in, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, everybody talks about this scent. And for good reason, because this, this right here, like this, mm -hmm. this is just like a nice potent little oil when I tell you. Now, where this is also in the fruity category, but this is more of a brighter kind of fruit scent. The Caudalie oil to me is like, it's perfect for like, this colder weather months where this this is like bright and a nice sunny day where you want to be bright and vibrant like it's just like a bubbly fruitiness if that makes any kind of sense but this is really bright and I don't know I really really enjoy this one as well guys I do want to mention this is a wand and not an actual dropper applicator this is a wand so you can like rub it on you but it doesn't like dispense like a medicine dropper type of situation if you know what I mean I've had this for some time as well. You can definitely see a little bit of usage in the bottle there. The price that I paid, I might have paid like, what, $27 for this bottle? Like, these things are nice and affordable. That's one thing I really like about them. And that's, honestly, between this and one of the fragrances that I tried out, that's what got me just, like, wanting to try more and more of the Arabic scents. Because, first of all, they're super affordable. And then, on top of that, they smell really good, which is the point of the whole thing, right? So, um, the hype is real on this one, guys. I, I can't even lie. The hype is definitely real on this one. If you're looking for, like, a nice, fruity, bubbly, vibrant kind of scent, definitely check out the Harim El Centen, if I'm saying that right. But you can see the right. I'll have everything linked down in the, <laughs> I'll have everything linked down in the description box below for you guys. Search on if you buy through those links. That gives me a little bit of kickback, but if you feel some kind of way about it, don't do it. The name will be there. You can Google it. It'll be nice and convenient for you guys. And of course, those do that, those that do support me, you know you are always greatly, truly appreciated. Now the sister, or I would say long lost cousin, <laughs> to that Harim El Sun that <laughs> this is called Le Ali, and it's from the company Swiss Arabian. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they're from the same company. So this is the Le Ali All Day Perfume. And this one. I am not a fan. This was my first fail. I am going to tell you that. And this is not an oil. This is an actual spray, but it is kind of thicker in an oil. And I don't even know why I spray that because, again, I'm not a, a huge fan of this one. This actually reminds me of something that I smelled like almost, it's almost giving me like skin so soft kind of a <laughs> in a way. I don't know. It just really reminds me of that skin so soft bubble bath that we used to use from Avon back in the day. And there's nothing wrong with that, but this just is at my vibe so if you like that almost powdery silky kind of skin so soft vibe <laughs> this one is for you but it ain't for me I grabbed three but as you can see I did pick up seven I think it was the their Black Friday sale I went ahead and shopped the brown sugar babe and I bought a whole bunch of the one ounce oils because I just wanted to try them out and see what was what Ingredients include sweet almond oil, olive oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and then of course the fragrance oil. But yeah, these are really nice. And for me, take the whole stopper off and then I'll pour some in my hand. And like the same thing I just told y'all, mix some with my Jergens 
and I am good to go. So I did pick up quite a bit of them. I picked up seven. So I have Princess Robin. I have Girl from Baja. I have Vanilla Sky. Now, comparing this vanilla to the Nemont vanilla, I definitely prefer the Nemont vanilla, but I still use this. Listen, I told y'all, I'm in my vanilla era anyway, so having options, there's nothing wrong with options around these parts, you know? So, not saying I don't like it, I just prefer the Nemite better, but I do like it. The majority of them that they have available, they kind of dupe high-end scents. So, the wild card is actually supposed to be, like, the inspired by Baccarat Rouge. So, I actually wear this with the dossier. You see my little dossier collection back there? So, I'll mix what. I'll mix a wild card with the, what is it called? This one is Ambry Saffron from Dossier. Definitely mix those. And, like, the projection is real, guys. When I tell y'all, that projection is everything. Bonita Apple Bomb. Now, when I talk about biting into a fresh fruit, Bonita Apple Bomb smells just like a nice, ripe green apple. I wouldn't say a red apple, but the green apple, let me tell y'all. They hit the... the the nail on the head with that one. Then I also have Lady Luck. Oh, wait a minute. Is Lady Luck the one that's supposed to smell like Baccarat Rouge? See, that's the thing. The names of these always get me confused. That's why I don't reach for my brown sugar babe oils as much. Only because I, I can't remember the names. And I don't know what is supposed to go with what. You know what I mean? So, that's the only downside to me. With the brown sugar babe oils. But I do enjoy that. So, wear them. And like I said, mix them in with my moisturizers and things like that. But I will leave the Brown Sugar Bay website down in the description box so you can check out their Instagram or their socials and stuff like that. Check them out so you can see what fragrance is supposed to be inspired by what. They help the projection. They help your wear time. I love to layer my scents. So having an oil and then having a, a lotion and then a perfume and then the the fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. Like the, the whole layers is what makes my air smell good i love to have like a nice good scent bubble so that when you come up on me like at work people be like i knew you was here because i smelled it in the air that's right that's what i want i want you to smell that fresh good <laughs> smelling it <laughs> but i do want to mention that i did pick up the sol de janeiro this is the chelosa 59 tell me why i ordered the big one all of my sol de all of my sol de janeiro scents are three fluid ounces tell me why this one here is freaking eight ounces. Like, why? Why did I do that? But look how much of it I've used. I've used so much of it. And when did it come out? Like three, four weeks ago? Like, this just came out this year, guys. So, again, I got that. I got the fragrance mist. And then I also got the body butter. This is the Delicia Drench Body Butter. And when I tell you this is like a true thick, whipped butter. Like, compared to, like, the Bum Bum Cream and things like that, those are creams. So, those are, like, really emollient. This, let me tell you, this thing is thick as I don't know what. Like, super thick. And when it comes to this, like, I have to really, and I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, I have to, like, super duper rub it in <laughs> in order to make it disappear. But when that happens, let me tell you, first of all, the combination of that fig with this smell, let me find out I just made a combo unintentionally because that smells really good, guys. This smells, I don't want to say brown sugar because I, believe it or not, when it comes to like those um, Bath & Body Works scents, anything that says brown sugar, I don't want it. I cannot stand that smell from Bath & Body Works. But this, this is giving me like almost like a, a baked pie, maybe like a pear pie. <laughs> I don't know that smells good but the point that I was trying to make was this body butter is like super thick but if you put a good amount and then you rub it in it does definitely spread all over so I'm not mad at that this is super thick super concentrated and I'm not mad at it like a lot of these things we have in claims like it says it's a prebiotic hibiscus and Brazilian so soothing complex to me, it's just to smell good kind of moisturizer. <laughs> so, like, I know some of them, they, they be saying they're going to smooth lines and things like that. I'm not looking for a cream to do that. I'm just not. But this, uh, the mist, let me tell you, this smells so good. And it's hard for me to describe this mist. Like, I don't even know how to describe this one. It just smells, like, really fresh. And 
very easy going like that's the thing about the Soul de Janeiro scents like they're very easy going have like a nice little vibrancy to the front the scent that you're wearing now this actually it says the notes include vanilla orchid sugared violet and sheer sandalwood so when I got this I was like what do I have that has sandalwood in it and when I tell you the combination that I've been going to for this is my Versace Noir oh my gosh that combination with this well that fragrance with this combined oh that has been like a super good layering scent and if y'all don't know I am trying to actually I guess pan or finish up my Versace Noir because I really have just a little bit left so I was really glad and now that I have this big old bottle of this I'm like damn do I need to repurchase Versace Noir because I always get a compliment with that and then layering it with this Listen, y'all couldn't tell me nothing, okay? These are all fragrances that I went ahead and picked up from Macy's. Super good deals. I'm talking like $35, $40. I don't think I paid no more than $50 for any of these fragrances. So I'm going to start off here. This is the Angel Nova Mugler Eau de Perfume. This is a refillable star. And I think this is going to come in handy more for the spring. I do like to like get things especially with the, the deal when the price is right let me tell you I had to get that so I wanted the star I wanted the pink one because this is nice and vibrant it's been a minute since I wore this because I said I was saving it for the spring so I'll go ahead and spray it just so I can remind myself I don't know it just gives me like that spring vibe I feel like this is almost kind of floral sweet and floral in a way so this one smells more for the spring I think the majority of them I'm kind of sick. Oh no, it's not for one. So this one I'm like saving some for the spring. I've worn it maybe like once or twice, but I didn't get too many wears out of this one. So I can't really give you like the feels and stories and things like that. I'm not going to sit here and cap, you know. Next one that I picked up is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. I actually had a travel spray of this one. So I knew I wanted a full size of this. And this is actually my favorite Flower Bomb scent, the Ruby Orchid. So that's what the bottom looks like there. Like I was never, I could not stand Flower Bomb. But actually now that I'm a little bit older, I kind of do like Flower Bomb, but I'm not rushing to get it. But the Ruby Orchid, when I was able to pick this up on a super good deal, I definitely grabbed that. And like I said, I have a travel spray. I'm pretty much almost done with that travel spray. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick up this bottle where I could get it on sale. So again, this is like my favorite Flower Bomb. If you haven't gotten your nose on this, you definitely should. This one, this one is just like a nice, sweet floral kind of scent as well. And this will definitely come in handy for the spring. I definitely cannot wait for it to warm up so I can get more wear out of that one. And then another one that I absolutely love, which I also had a travel spray of this one. I got a full size. Why? Because it was on sale. <laughs> so I definitely went ahead and got a one fluid ounce bottle of the YSL, this is the black opium, and this one is the Eau de Parfume of the Illicit Green. And when I tell you, my favorite combination with this, I used to wear this with the K. Ali Eden Apple. Oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all how that was my combination. I love that combination, and I cannot wait for it to warm up so I can wear this again. Because before the, um, I think it's the EDP of the black opium, like the one that has like the triple vanillas. That one is my favorite black opium, but then this is a close second. So I have the original black opium as well. And to me, the hierarchy is, uh, the, the, uh, the OG is kind of at the bottom of the hierarchy now. So it's the new one, like with the pink label. I only have a middle, a mini of it, but I figured I didn't need, I, like I said, I've been on that vanilla kick, so I really didn't need a full size bottle of this, but. If I can get it on sale in the summertime, trust and believe, I will because I can wear it for the next one. So that's how I like to shop. Why am I giving these companies all my money, right? <laughs> so, again, I had a travel size of the Illicit Green. Got this on sale and I cannot wait to wear it. So that, love. And then last but not least, this is an OG fave as a matter of fact. I used to have a bottle of this way, way back. I haven't had a Juicy Couture fragrance in forever. But this one is the best one, guys. If you want to know the best, well... I can't say that because I honestly haven't smelled a lot of the flankers. I don't even know if there's been new flankers, but this is the Viva La Juicy Noir. Yeah. Oh my God. This is the best one to me. In my opinion, from what I've smelled, this is the best one. Like, y'all know how Juicy Couture boxes look, bottles look. We, we 
we grew up on these things but when i seen this new wall when i tell you it was like 30 bucks i was like throw it in the bag i wanted it this smells so good like it's the most mature version of viva la juicy it's still fun it's still fun but there's just like a little depth and sultriness when it comes to this noir and i don't know it was just a nostalgia it was the sale it was all that i wanted it so i got it and i'm really happy to have a juicy couture in my collection again i don't know it's just i was feeling it <laughs> this is something that i feel like you can wear year round as well like you can wear it on date night kind of hang out vibe and chill kind of fragrance so yeah definitely wanted to get that when i saw that on sale so that is all the designer fragrances that i had now i do have one niche fragrance guys and i don't know if y'all can tell i haven't opened it yet i'm gonna do a separate video on this because i want to unbox it i kept saying i was gonna do like a tiktok unboxing and things like that and i just never got around to it so i'm not gonna open it just yet but just know <laughs> i finally got my perfumes de marley this is Delina Royal Essence, guys. So, super excited. Now that I'm showing you guys this in this video, after this, I'm probably going to film that TikTok. So, I'll put my TikTok information down in the description box. Definitely check me out over there. But this is a 2.5 fluid ounce bottle. Now, for the fun part, let's. I'm going to actually kind of do this in a ranking kind of situation. Because, why not, right? At the very bottom are these two men's fragrances. I'm just going to kill two birds with one stone. Because, listen, these were like... A big disappointment now for me like with the arabic sense the sizes that that heftiness like they don't skimp out on quality when it comes to these scents guys so this one is the club de nuit club de nuit milestone fragrance did i get the right one i think this is gold if i'm not mistaken but it's from the company called armoth i thought this was supposed to be gold or maybe just because the box is gold and the packaging is gold. Like, they don't skimp on quality. They don't skimp on, like, the heffiness and the weight and stuff like that. So that is one thing I do appreciate because a lot of these fragrances are really affordable. But, sadly, these two men fragrances, like, just ain't it. Like, I wasn't feeling it. Babe wasn't feeling it. The other one, this is going to be the one that's at the bottom. The Club de Nuit. Coming in at the number 10 spot would be this Armoff fragrance I don't remember what it smells like because they've been sitting here for I don't know how long and I'm so happy I'm doing it because I'm about to put this on base oh this is just like super strong and just doing the absolute most and for a man yeah their fragrance their scents are stronger but to me it's like super strong and I hope I don't come off a certain way by saying this but like, I grew up here in New York, so I'm used to going into stores and I know what that background scent smells like, like the incense and, or even in taxi cabs and things like that. So when I smell some of these scents, it kind of puts me in that mindset of being in like a halal store or being in a taxi cab or something like where they just doing too much with their fragrances. And maybe they wasn't doing too much, maybe they was wearing the Amma. Um don't hold it against me guys i'm just keeping it all the way 100 y'all know how we do over here then next up this one this box is not as extravagant because this is a tester but it's a 3.4 fluid ounce and when i tell you i paid like 25 dollars for this one listen like the price be right okay and then they don't be skimping out on packaging so like nice and hefty weighty kind of scent this one we actually do like i like this one better than the armaf i'll tell you that so babe did like this one i like it on him as well this one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was more of a fresh kind of scent. Yeah, this one is like a nice, fresh kind of scent. It kind of almost puts me in a vibe of like a dad scent. <laughs> if I can describe it any kind of way, it just gives me that dad vibe. So this is something that you can wear on the weekend, going to run some errands with the kids. This is something that babe will wear for that. And he's wore it around the house, but he never like wore it to work or anything like that this ain't that kind of scent but this is definitely a chill out vibe like i said run some errands kind of situation so this is by r9 9 a.m and p.m at the number eight spot this one is confidential private gold this is by latafa and again you see that beautiful packaging like they don't skimp they don't skimp on the weightiness of the bottle like latafa i 
have quite a bit of Latafa in my collection at this moment and they don't disappoint when I tell you but this is my least favorite that's why it's coming in at number eight and just for the sheer potency of this scent I am a heavy oversprayer but for this one it's all you need <laughs> like the potency on this thing right here she is so strong and then at first you get like super alcoholic kind of vibes it does mellow out a little bit but i don't know i'm just scared of her <laughs> she is she's doing some some numbers so if you like that kind of projection you kind of like that heaviness of a fragrance this might be for you but i'm scared of her and i haven't really really delved into her too much but so if you guys have tried this this private gold if if you dare layer it with something, let me know. Or if you kind of mellow it out with something, let me know. <laughs> this is where it gets tricky because from here on, they're all bomb. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. So, let's say number seven, Casablanca. I've seen this everywhere. Up and down TikTok, y'all know. I mean, at night, if I had the energy to get up from laying in my bed from scrolling on the phone and come and film I would be so productive but the way my apartment is set up like baby on the other side of the wall just blasting the TV like he's deaf <laughs> so like it just don't be working out for me like baby's at work right now that's the only reason why I am actually able to film this video and I'm surprised my kids ain't running here yet but everybody's chilling it's cold they had a snow day yesterday so they went to school today it's like they're so worn out so <laughs> mommy's taking advantage of this time but anyway Going back to Casablanca, I've seen this all up and down the streets, and I just knew I was gonna love this one. Sigh. It's okay. This is also by Swiss Arabian. This one is a little confused <laughs> because I get a little bit of beachy vibe. I get a little bit of coconut vibe. I get a little bit of sweetness. Now I know a, a lot of people call this like a vanilla fragrance. I don't really get like a heavy vanilla. If anything, it may be peeking in the background there, but to me, this is not a vanilla scent. I don't know. It's like, it almost clashes <laughs> in a way. Like, for me, Casablanca is definitely a layering scent. I actually layered it today, guys. So I have on the Brown Sugar Babe Bonita Apple Balm Body Oil. Then I went on top with the Jo Malone English Pan Freesia. Well, my dossier version of it. And then I have on the Casablanca as my layering agent and i like it i still smell good and it is now like after 7 p.m so i got dressed at about 7 so damn it 12 hours and i still smell good y'all know how i do. and i just haven't come up with the perfect combo and y'all can tell i've used quite a bit because i was just so confused like i wanted to see what everybody liked and what everybody's raving about and this one is mm, it's not my favorite so that's why she is in the number seven spot oh i lied i don't have ten i have nine so, update the week, number 9, 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., number 8, 7, just because I'm scared, <laughs> is the Private Gold by Latafa, number 6, Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. And I just talked about my kids, and here comes one now. It's Miss Chloe <laughs> Renata. She got me a Stanley cup. Oh, yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Your homegirl got a little Stanley cup. But how? It wasn't even delivered today. It's not coming until tomorrow. So, I had to give her her accessories for the cup today and tell her that it'll be here tomorrow so yeah that's how that goes but say hi and bye hi bye so now let's continue on we're talking top five here guys top five do y'all watch r&b money with tank let me tell y'all something i have a picture of tank up in my cubicle at work and i'm talking about way back in the day <laughs> but i always love me some tank let me tell you that so i do be watching r&b money podcast and he does the top <laughs> so that's what I was saying. But let's move into the top five. Let's go ahead. Number five would be another Latafa. And this one is the Latafa Sublime. And this is the Body Al Oud. This actually, they list it as a men's fragrance, which I was surprised because this is a quote unquote dupe for my favorite Kali, which I was just telling y'all about the Eden Apple. So. But they listed as a men's fragrance and the packaging like can we talk about the packaging design like you get a little little box here like it makes me not even want to throw out the packaging like some of these little boxes they're definitely going 
But stuff like this, I don't want to throw out. Like, it's a whole presentation. It's a whole situation here. I don't really consider this to be a dupe of my favorites. I really don't. It, you do get that juiciness of a red apple where I said the um, black opium and the bonita apple bomb. You get that green apple vibe. Or you definitely get the red apple vibe from here. It is definitely a unisex fragrance. Men and women to me can both wear this fragrance. And it's just a nice sweet vibe um again you get that apple scent so but it's not like a, a vibrant juicy apple but it's just like that lingering apple vibe I really enjoy i've worn it several times babe has worn it so it's definitely a unisex fragrance but i'm keeping this one <laughs> he ain't gonna miss it he's gonna forget all about it i'm keeping this one because i really do like it so that is the number five scent in my ranking let's move on to number for Latafa camera and this is like as I it could be the packaging too that's getting me because <laughs> listen here look at this oh. oh look it has a own its own little stand and oh. listen here y'all know I get excited about stuff like this and this is like 30 bucks guys like come on <laughs> come on this is why I delved all into these fragrances so this is given like boozy vibes, it's shaped like a cognac bottle, but don't mistaken it for Angel Share from Killian. Damn, I can't even think right now, but I finished my Angel Share over the holidays. Um, I had a travel size of the Killian Angel Share, and this is nothing like Angel Share. This is its own vibe altogether. A little boozy, a little sweet. I don't know, it's just a different kind of vibe. It's not. Angel Share, to me, Angel Share. Now, when I said baked apple goods, like, it smells like fresh out the oven baked apple pie, that Angel Share. This, I get a little bit of the cinnamon. This has a little bit more of that boozy vibe as opposed to Angel Share because for me, I don't necessarily get a lot of the boozy vibe from Angel Share. To me, I get more of the baked good where this camera actually does give me more of that boozy vibe. And I like it. This is a, a really good... Went to time for that hard. So for number three, we're gonna say Yara. A la top for Yara. I don't have the box for this because this is the very first Arabic scent that I actually picked up. And this one, when I tell you I might need another bottle soon, <laughs> like I've mixed this with so many different things because I have like the Bath and Body Works Gingham Gorgeous. Anything that says strawberry, I would mix it. I don't really like it by itself. But when it comes to mixing with something else, this is the one. And the combo that I like the most, Mont Blanc Signature and Yara. If you have them, you need to try them together. Guys, I don't like Mont Blanc by itself. I don't like Yara by itself. But when you mix these, first of all, people smell me from distance. Like, one of my girls from work, I haven't seen her in forever. And she came and she was like, I know that's you. She just knew it was me. She was like, I smell it from here. And she just go on and on and it's this and every time I wear this combination it is guaranteed to get compliments this is a compliment getting combination if I ever had one I'm telling you right now so I know a lot of people they're like me they don't like this they like they don't get the hype but when I tell you this Yara is perfect for layering and specifically this layering combination right here I don't like my I was so mad that I bought the signature because everybody was like oh signature I don't like it. I don't like it by itself. But mixed with Yara, it just does something. Try it, guys. I'm, I'm, try it. That's all I'm gonna say. But Yara is in my number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot. Wait, I gotta put her in my box because I want y'all to see the oh situation here. Kind of similar, similar to the camera thing, but this is Latafa and some gold, and this is part of their Pride collection. But y'all. I just love the fact that they do this with, like, with the stand. And then, not only does the bottle have a stand, but look at the detail, that flower detail on the bottle. Like, the cap says Latafa. Like, how? How are they doing this for 25 30 35 whatever the cost is? How? How are y'all doing this and still coming in? Because it smells delicious. <laughs> okay? This smells delicious so good when i tell you this smells so good it's like i'm see when i say powdery 
I don't mean like powdery like baby powder. I mean like there's like a pillowy softness of floral because there's flowers on the bottle. But I don't get, this is not like a straight up floral scent to me. Like there's so many different layers to this scent. And it smells freaking amazing. In my head, I cannot remember what I've actually layered this with. But I know anytime I smell this, anytime I've worn this, it has smelled so good. When I tell you I absolutely love this. And if I can, I'll actually insert pictures because I try to take pictures when I try like different layering combinations just so that I can remember because your girl's getting old, okay? <laughs> but that one, definitely my number two spot. And it's just like so unique scent. And I'm just mind blown how it's so affordable, how they can put such quality and detail into the packaging. Like, I am sold. Now coming in at my number one spot. It's gonna be another Latafa Pride collection. This is Nibras. Y'all, yeah. when I tell you that this smells amazing, this, my vanilla lovers, if you're in that vanilla vibe, like I've been telling y'all, I've been in my vanilla bag. I sprayed it down there, y'all. I smell it up here. This smells so good. And this also has. A little bit of that booziness, a little bit of, I don't, I don't want to say medicine because y'all might get the wrong idea, but it's like there's some kind of earthiness, like a, a green earthy vibe in the background of that vanilla. Yeah, almost like a Vix. <laughs> it is kind of medicinal. I mean like herby, green, because I layer it more where I bring out the vanilla, like I'll bust out one of my little vanilla oils or my Bath and Body Works to layer, but I usually get more of the... the vanilla essence of it but I break it out more with my layering combination so right now as I'm smelling it by itself I do get more of that earthy green vibe from it but trust me y'all just trust me on this let me tell you how you can just amp up that vanilla so easily with vanilla musk from Nemat from vanilla sky from BSB from anything from Bath and Body Works that has vanilla I'm telling you you will not miss okay this is my favorite scent from everything that i like the arabic scents this is my top number one i've won i don't know if y'all noticed like as i was filming this but this one was on top because i i was like i'm not putting it back in the box because i reach for this at least once a week and that's saying a lot because i only go to work well i only go in office three times a week so i definitely have to wear this once a week i love this scent listen so good Take my word for it. It is so good. Now that I shared my thoughts on all of my fragrances that I picked up, first of all, I want to know what some of your recent fragrance purchases. Secondly, I want to know, have you tried any of the fragrances that I have? Do you have any layering combinations and suggestions? I'm always down for a suggestion to try something new. I'm always here for that. So yeah, share your thoughts with me down in the comment section below. If you stayed this long, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, if you love beauty and lifestyle content and you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe while you're down there liking the video. I would love to have you on the channel and hit those notifications so you know when I upload another video so you don't miss out. Okay, squad, as always, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I miss you guys and I will be back soon. I actually have a couple of videos recorded. I just did not get a chance to actually edit them so this one should be pretty straightforward to edit like there's no no fillers and I don't have to do any like add-ins or anything like that so this one hopefully will be up this weekend I hope you guys have a very happy Valentine's Day I'm filming this on Valentine's Day as we speak so I hope you guys have a good one and I hope to catch each and every one of you in the next video until next time y'all stay blessed later guys